So I'm sitting here in hot Scottsdale, Arizona. I uh, decided I would come outside to record this video because I think I need a breath of fresh air when I start thinking about the things that are so important in our follow-up. And one of the things that I've realized is that when we go to do our campaigns, our drip campaigns, we're always thinking about how are we going to stay in touch with these people? And what are we going to say to them? And all those things. But one of the things I really find important, and I, and I talk about it in the book in chapter uh, six, is writing your templates for holidays. Have you ever thought about that? When you have a holiday, it wouldn't it be great if you could just send stuff out to all of your people and just stay in touch and not necessarily talk about real estate. I think that's one of our biggest issues. We're always like, oh, we got to see, do they want to talk to me? Do they want anything? I'm the best real estate agent and all that stuff. But the reality is, is that sometimes just keeping in touch with people by sending a holiday template of some sort is a really good idea. So I'm going to talk briefly today about how important it is to set up your templates ahead of time and then how do you schedule these if you can to send automatically throughout the year and then what are we going to send so the first thing is is i depending on where country you're in obviously i have a lot of people here from canada and some other countries actually than the u.s but depending on your holidays throughout the year uh, you'll need to decide which one of these templates that you're going to want to include in your campaigns or even if you can't build a campaign. So the first thing I do want to mention is is that not every CRM will allow you to schedule a drip campaign for holidays. And what I mean by that is if you go and you're shopping CRMs or you're in your favorite CRM and you want to set this up so it can run automatically and you have maybe 15 holidays throughout the year that you want to make sure that you send something automatically you have to check to see if you have the ability to send on a particular day of year because many of the CRMs out there won't do that for you. So that's the first thing. That said, that doesn't mean that you need to switch CRMs unless you want to. I, mine works like that. Mine does work. But the reality is, is you don't have to. You can create these templates and just make sure that, at, you know, every holiday you have this template ready. So you're not reinventing this wheel. Now, if you can create a couple years worth of this, then every year you would have it. Now, if you're just getting started, create your first year of templates. Now, what do we put in the template? Now, I can tell you that the best and easiest thing you can do right now is run to Canva and create some video. And if you can add yourself in there and, you know, just say hello or happy, you know, New Year or happy Valentine's Day or whatever, then go in there and get those things made. And you can create them so easily with the pre-built templates that are in there. And then you can export it out. Now, the big thing now is if you're going to be able to send video, which I think is really key if you can do it, and get your face in there, that would be awesome. Um, then they'll get to see you every month or every holiday, and they won't forget you. Um, but you're you're also, you know, um, just making it way more personalized. Now, if you can't do that, then just create some templates I, right through Canva. They have all kinds of different videos you can create in there, and then you can export them out. And then you have to figure out whether or not your CRM allows you to add video, to, like a video content block or something like that to it. If you cannot do that, then here's your choice. You can take a screenshot of the video, just a spot in there maybe. If you're in it, get you in it. Um, if not, that's okay. Just do it at the end. And uh, wherever it makes sense to take a screenshot of that video and then go to Canva and they have these little arrows that you can actually put on the video. And that little arrow there will look like it's a player button, right? And so you stick that image in your email, which we sh all should be able to add images to our emails, okay? So if you can't do that, then you need to find another CRM, come on. <laughs> So you can add an image to your email that looks like a thumbnail to a video. And then what you're going to do is highlight that thumbnail image and then you will link that to the video. Now where is the video going to be? Now you want my personal opinion, you can upload it to YouTube and keep it unlisted. You can go to Vimeo and upload it there. These are all free places. All of my videos are actually in Vimeo that I use because it's a little more business-like. I kind of like that, um, but it's up to you. If you, or you can, if you wanted to, upload it to a Google Doc and then you would have it in Google so that they can just click on that. Um, one thing I really like about these is that 
some of our CRMs, many of them, will be able to identify when someone clicks on a link. So even though this is a hyperlinked, so you're hyperlinking this photograph to a video that you've uploaded somewhere else, it looks like a video when they're clicking on it, but they're actually being taken somewhere to actually watch the video. And most of our CRMs, that's how it is. Now, when they click, it will probably, your CRM may be able to tell you that they watched it. So to me, that's a great sign, buying and selling sign, that people are actually, number one, getting my emails and interested in what I'm sending, which I think is really key. And, you know, I don't think it's a problem in your video just to remind them that you're an agent and who, give them your name and make sure that they know you. At the end of all of our videos, it says from your local real estate specialist, and then I could put my name on it if you're going to create your own video. Go ahead and put your name at the end of that video. But make it a little more personalized if you can with a video. Now, you also want, you don't want to just put a video in there. You want to wish them a happy something, whatever the holiday is, in the actual text of the email. So don't forget to add something first and then say, here's a video message for you, a special video message for you, and then put the video in there, okay? and then you're sending it out. Now, if you can schedule these, my suggestion is never to send an email or a text, by the way, you can send text. I only do two texts a year in my holiday campaigns because I don't want to text them every holiday. It's just too much. And then they, they, the next thing you know, they've opted out. But um, if, you, if you create your templates so that uh, they're just friendly, they're real easy going. You could go to ChatGPT if you want to. I actually have all, all these holiday video templates too, so if you want those, just go to realestatedripmail.com and check it out. But if you don't want to do that and want to create your own, then just go to ChatGPT and create some content for all these holidays that you want. Now, if you're able to build this into a drip campaign because your CRM has the ability to schedule at a particular day of the year, then you should be able to build this out for the entire year. And what I would suggest, you might build a few years out as time's going by. So then you can always, like, if you had like four or five, some of my hot tubs running over there. <laughs> Sorry if that's making noise. Um, hot tub in the 120 degree heat. Don't you love it? Um, but anyway, so if you have the ability to create these and schedule them out, that's great. Create a few years worth, but you don't have to do it all now. You know, just do it along the line. Uh, as, you're, as you can get them done, you can build it and then turn it on for your people and it's running hands-free. Another thing you're going to want to plan to do, because you probably won't build this into a campaign for a year-long campaign, is birthday templates. Now you can build a campaign that will send something once a year. If you're able to schedule it so that it will send on that particular day of year, you can go in and just turn it on so that it starts to run on that person's birthday. So check your CRM to see if your CRM has that option to be able to actually schedule it on whatever day. But if you're going to set schedule it, just be really careful. I'm not a big fan of sending um, templates on major holidays like Christmas. I, people sometimes get offended by that, and especially if you don't know them really well, it's not appropriate to really be sending a video on Christmas from a realtor, uh, or especially a text. I certainly wouldn't do that. My texts go out at least a week or two ahead of time, partially because I'm trying to catch, say, Hanukkah and the holiday and Christmas all at once. So I kind of just say, you know, happy holiday. But you're gonna have a separate, obviously, separate Hanukkah and a separate Christmas type templates. But whatever is good for you and your world. The other thing is I would not build in Mother's Day and Father's Day in a pre-built campaign because you don't wanna miss, you wanna wish Father's Day, <laughs> happy Father's Day to somebody who's not a father, not even a male, right? Okay, so those are templates I would have in my library and then I would just blast those out to the people that I know are probably fathers. So I would have them the hat handy. Another thing you might want to plan as far as go, that goes is maybe an annual uh, happy anniversary of the closing of your house kind of stuff. So as far as those goes, it's the same kind of scheduling. You can um, set up like five templates like you would maybe with a, a birthday campaign. And those five templates then could be set up to send once a year and you turn it on and it just goes. In my CRM, I have an ability, the ability to restart. So at the end of five years, I would have the restart on there and then it would start back over and start sending the, the beginning again, it would start over. Because chances are, they're probably not gonna remember that they got something from you five years ago and oh, there it is again, I just saw it again. 
they're not going to pay attention to that. And besides, they're just going to be happy to hear from you. I can tell you too that I'll put two texts in a year and I kind of spread those out. I'll do one during the early part of the holiday in December and then I will do another one and like around maybe mid mid year. So a good one in the mid year, we could be um, 4th of July. And that one gets a lot of response. And all I'm doing is saying, have a great 4th of July. <laughs> and then make sure that you do have all your contact information in there so they know who you are. Do you want to put a link to your website in there? Sure, why not? You know, and th then they can click on it. Maybe they're interested at that point to look at houses. You just never know. But don't say, oh, happy 4th of July. And oh, by the way, do you need a house? Uh, don't do that. We're tr all of these are meant to do is really just to, um, you know, wish them a happy holiday and stay in, stay in front of them so they don't forget about you and they get to know you a little bit better. Anyway, so I've got um, ideas in my book on the kind of things you might want to write and talk more about, you know, all the templates that you want to send <laughs> throughout all your drip campaigns in my drip campaign book here, dripcampaignsecrets.com. Just go to dripcampaignsecrets.com and you can get the book and learn more about that. But in the meantime, I hope I helped you out with this and we'll see you in the next video. I'm trying to do more of these that are going to be more helpful for you, for everybody. And no matter what CRM you're in, just make sure you know it, you know how to use it because especially when it comes to scheduling stuff, it could be challenging if you go in there and you, you think you should be able to do something and you can't. So if you don't know the answer, ask someone in support and see if they'll give you an answer on that. Okay. All right. Hope you're having a great day. Happy holidays. See you later.